Greetings friends, this is Survival Doc. Today we're going to take a look at my chicken tractor. I've heard it called by several names. Uh, it is uh, basically a mobile chicken run, which allows you to uh, give your chickens access to your full yard so that they can pick up bugs and grass and, and ticks. And uh, so let's take a look at it. Now my chicken tractor, which is what I like to call it, is four feet wide by nine feet long. You pick it up by this handle here and you can move the chickens. To a different part of the yard or move it over a little bit. And you have to supply the chickens with water when they're going to be out here all day. And the best way I found to do that is with this type of waterer, which has a little nipple down there. This is just an all game bottle that uh, added the little chicken watering nipple down there. Some wheels back here that I took off of uh, an old cart. You want to keep it low enough to the ground to where chickens can't get under it and predators can't get under it. Here, I have, uh, nope, don't want you out. Have uh, a gate to get to put them in and out. This part right here, I use this stiff one inch by two inch wire that, um, I had left over from making my chicken, not chicken, rabbit hutches. The top I put um, chicken wire, four foot across. Wanted to keep it lightweight. All treated lumber. These pieces here are just the um, lumber that you use for your fen fencing, the wood fences. Um, this part here is, these are just treated 2 by 4s that I just cut in half on my table saw. So just sliced them right down the middle. Same thing here, same thing here. That uh, is a 8-foot um, treated 2 by 4 that I cut in half. It was, so one board would make two. It's a piece of PVC pipe here. Um, one inch inside diameter, the heavier duty stuff, and I put a screw through it to hold it in place. Painted it, right now I just have primer on it, painted to protect it from um, UV light because being in the sun, it will, it will deteriorate in time if it's not painted. I have uh, 13 chickens in here right now. These are spring chicks. They're a couple of months old. So they're not fully grown chickens. Use J-clips to put this together. Use my nail gun to staple these in. And they really enjoy it. They enjoy getting outside the coop. Out here, 80% uh, of a chicken's diet can be grass. So, if you move them around, they're not too destructive to one spot in your yard. And they can find, like that one there has found a bug or something, the rest of them are going after it. Takes them a little while to figure out how to drink from this thing, but Pretty soon one of them will figure it out, and when one of them figures out the other ones, chickens are big imitators. Once one of them figures it out, the other ones are soon drinking from it. 
Most of these are barred rocks. I got barred rocks because they're very cold hardy. I don't want to have to heat the coop in the uh, winter time. They're cold hardy and they're also a good breed for both meat chickens and egg chickens. And I got chickens for both reasons, for meat and for eggs. There's a red right there, maybe Rhode Island red, I think. That little nipple there is made specially for watering chickens. I bought it at the hardware store where they sell chickens. So in the morning, I just back this thing up to the door of the chicken coop or to the gate and uh, open this thing up and uh, herd them in there and they quickly learn what this is all about. They love getting out in the yard and spending all day outside. Now you always have to provide them with some shade. So if you have them out where there's nothing but sun, you have to throw a little piece of a tarp or something over part of the top of it in order to provide them some shade. They should be able to get in the sun if they want in the sun or get in the shade if they want to get out of the sun around and throughout the day these chickens will be out here all day long and what I'll do is throughout the day every now and then when I think about it I'll come out here and move this over just lift this part up and just move it It's nine feet long, so generally I'll move it like nine feet at a time. I left about four inches here. The reason I did that is because they like to reach through. And uh, I feed these chickens by hand, and so that's the reason they're always interested in my hand, because they think I've got, I've got food for them. And, um, but anyway, this allows them to reach outside uh, and at the same time adds structural stability. I have this stapled on the other side, adds structural stability so that they can't, or uh, a predator or dog or something can't get under there. Uh, of course, I wouldn't leave this out here at night because a um, predator could dig underneath there. But during the daytime, when you kind of keep an eye on them, of course, I um, leave them out here during the daytime when I leave because it's um, pretty secure not worried about anything getting them in the daytime so there it is and they come up here because they think I'm gonna pull it this way I'm gonna pull it that way and watch how if I just move slowly they figure out which way it's going The uh, chicken tractor works best on flat ground. And here's an example of how it can work on rough ground. You just have to make sure at this point your chickens don't get out. Red up here trying to get out. Okay, come on down here. And I just open the door. They're ready to go in. Because they're ready for the regular chicken food. Just open this door, open the chicken tractor. Okay, have to make sure these guys don't come out. Okay, um, Rio has come to help me. And when rap and when the rabbits, when the chickens get loose, Rio does help me round them up. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, he's a shepherd dog. Sometimes he gets a little enthusiastic. Okay, move real, move, move. Okay, close this. And we're just open this up, and they're ready to go in there. And everyone I'm is in there. Okay. Let me pull this back out of the way. Leave it open. Watch it. Okay, go ahead. 
And Rio's gonna watch here, make sure nobody gets out. Let me turn on the better light in here. Here are my bigger chickens <clears throat> eating their food. Here are the smaller ones. Over here is the water. I built this water tray. Chickens have a tendency to make a mess. I built this water tray so that when they spill excess water, I can drain it out over there and uh, keep my uh, wood here dry. Very important to keep your wood dry. Very important to keep it dry. Okay, these are my smaller chickens that we added to our other flock. And there's Rio being a good dog. He's a good, he's a German Shepherd and as the name implies they were shepherds and uh, you just have to make sure he understands what you want. Alright so when we introduce the smaller chickens in here I kept them separate in this uh, cage here and what I have here is an opening that allowed the smaller chickens what are they getting freaked out about? They're just freaking themselves out. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, they're still they're still picking on them some, and that's the reason they have this escape here. When they get tired of getting picked on, they'll go through here, and they have their own area in here. And this is uh, too small for their larger chickens to fit through, so the smaller chicks. Hmm? I don't know what it's eating out of there. It's got a there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so we keep these uh, smaller ones uh, separated until a few uh, weeks. Then uh, the other chickens will accept them after they, they see them around. After a couple of weeks, they finally let them in. Here's their sandbox where they do their dusting. Here's a roost I built for them back here. These are their pans for egg laying. Egg laying pans over here. With their ramp, they can walk up and down. And over here to the ramp. So they can walk up here to their boxes. And here we had the um, heat lamp, infrared lamp on the babies when, back when it was cold. We haven't been using that in a while. I'll uh, put that, hang that back up higher, get it out of the way. And we'll take this temporary pen here out once the babies are fully accepted by the larger chickens. There's a three week difference in their ages. All of these are spring chicks from this year. And um, just three weeks difference. So how old are the small ones now, you think? Um, they're about nine and six weeks. So the nine, small nine ones? Weeks six weeks. The small ones are about six weeks mm -hmm. now. The large ones are about nine weeks now. And Rio knows he's not allowed to go inside the chicken coop. And actually, he's kind of pushing it there, putting his paws across the line. But uh, but he's um, he's never heard a chicken, and he does shepherd them. When a chicken gets loose, Rio will bring the chicken back to us, uh, drive it. Rio will drive the chicken back to us if he can. And if he can't drive the chicken back to us, he twice he has held the chicken down without hurting it, uh, and I have been able to get the chicken that he was holding down. So he's a good, he's a good shepherd. He's a black German shepherd. Well, you get a dog on that one. Well, he'll just have to get used to it. These are the. Um, Six week old barred rock chicks. 
these are the non wico barred rock. The darker ones are the pullets. The lighter ones are the roosters to be the cockerels. And there's a the red over there. The smaller barred rocks. And I think Rio is getting bored with the situation. He's crossing the line. He's actually not allowed to be beyond that line, but sometimes he uh, pushes the envelope. And sometimes we feed these uh, chickens by hand. And um, so when I get down like this, they come up to see if I have any food. Here's my dusting chickens. They dust themselves. I just have um, playground sand in there. But they dust themselves to um, clean themselves, get mites off of them. They're hungry, aren't they? They um, didn't find a whole lot of uh, food when they were tracking around the yard all day and so when I bring them in here they're uh, kind of catching up. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced.